Right, so we've defined the derivative, both in terms of limits, and then we've given this theorem saying we just take the derivative term by term. Um, now we're going to use that for an example. Right, so we're going to do some plotting. So first up, uh, we're asked to simply plot, you know, draw the graph of the vector valued function, which again is just plotting a parametric curve. Um, and, and you can see the relationship here is, is that uh, x is equal to y squared. Um, so that is a parabola. Right, um, let's draw blue. Uh, so here's right, so here is r of t. Um, now if I go ahead and I calculate r prime of t, Right. Well, that's going to be 2t and 1. Okay. Um, well, what this is, this is just actually, it's just a line, right? It's just y equals 1, right? y value is constant. The x value varies. And we just get a line traced out from left to right. So we get something that... It looks like that. Okay, um, that's maybe not so enlightening. What's more interesting is to think about plotting individual vectors from our vector valued function in, for the derivative and plotting them. Um, now, one of the things you, you'll notice as, as written here, I said, okay, well, plot this, calculate this vector, r prime of one. So r prime at one is just the vector uh, Two one, and I say you know plot it at the origin, right tail at the origin, and then do it again, plotting at r of one. Um, and you'll notice that it's quite frequent when we're doing you know calculus with these vector-valued functions that we we really blur the distinction between a point and the position vector for the point. But then at the same time, we let ourselves move these vectors around as, as it suits us. Um, and, and that flexibility turns out to actually be pretty useful for a lot of things. Um, there's a point at which maybe it gets you into trouble, but not until you're like in graduate school and you're doing differential geometry and you have to be really careful about this. Calculus, we can get away with it. So the vector 2 comma 1, right? It's kind of, we plot it at the origin. Looks something like that, right? But if we plot it at the point 1, 1, well, here we see that sort of tangent vector property, right? That it's, it's going to go there. Uh, we get this vector, which is, you know, tan you can imagine the line in the direction of that vector through that point. It's tangent to the curve, right? So this notion of a tangent vector. Um, and, and so typically, if you're, if you're drawing the derivative of a vector-valued function, you're drawing it at a particular point like we did there, um, you are going to draw the tail of that vector at the point on the graph uh, given by that same parameter value for the original function. And then you get that nice tangent vector relationship that we can see in the picture here. 